When Jurassic World was released, audiences were introduced to the first hybrid dinosaur in the series, the Indominus Rex, a genetic fusion of various animals and dinosaurs. Not long after, Fallen Kingdom brought us the Indoraptor, sometimes referred to as the Indominus Raptor. This horror movie worthy creation combined a massive body, exceptional agility, a sickle toe claw, and menacing human like arms with razor sharp claws reminiscent of Freddy Krueger. Despite being smaller than the Indominus Rex, the Indoraptor's eerie design made it even more terrifying. It was essentially the result of blending the Indominus Rex with a real Velociraptor. However, Nature had already created a similar creature over 150 million years ago. During the Mesozoic era, a family of theropods emerged that bore a striking resemblance to the Indoraptor, but were even more bizarre and deadly. The Megaraptorans, the longest claws of any predator. Like the Indoraptor, Megaraptorans remain mysterious due to their limited fossil record. Paleontologists still debate their origins and classification, but one thing is certain, they were built to be terrifying. Each member of this family followed a nightmarish body plan, the most shocking feature being their massive hand claws. When the first Megaraptoran fossil was discovered in Argentina before the turn of the century, paleontologists initially believed they had found a gigantic raptor based on a massive claw assumed to belong to its foot. However, further research revealed that this claw was actually on its first finger and measured an astonishing 30 centimeters, 12 inches, as long as a standard ruler or the largest Bowie knives in existence. This discovery cemented Megaraptor as the predator with the longest claws of any carnivorous animal ever, a title later challenged only by its own relatives. Over the next two decades, additional Megaraptoran genera were discovered, some even more fearsome than the original. Today, the total number of known Megaraptorans stands at 11, each featuring a terrifying set of weapons. Further examination revealed that Megaraptorans didn't just possess one deadly claw, but two. Their second finger also had an enlarged, recurved claw, shockingly sharp and nearly as long as the first. Researchers believe these claws were covered in a keratinous sheath that may have added an extra 30% to their length. Even their third finger was razor sharp and powerful while lacking oversized claws. The sheer size and shape of these claws were terrifying enough, but their lethality was amplified by the powerful limbs wielding them. Unlike Tyrannosaurus rex, which had famously tiny arms, Megaraptorans possessed robust, proportionally large, arms packed with thick muscles. Their bones were built for durability and flexibility, allowing them to swing their claws with precision and force. These theropods could use their arms like swords or spears, delivering devastating flesh wounds and massive internal damage. Even after death, their claws were still in use, as researchers believe they were utilized to tear apart carcasses and access hard-to-reach meat. They killed Megaraptorans likely had two primary hunting strategies, depending on the size of their prey. Larger dinosaurs, they would use their massive claws to deliver fatal slashes, bringing down their victims before tearing them apart into manageable pieces. However, for smaller prey, perhaps even human-sized creatures, their method was far more gruesome. These predators likely impaled their prey with their enormous claws, lifting them off the ground while they were still alive and devouring them piece by piece. This terrifying possibility is supported by Megaraptor and shoulder structures, which were highly flexible and developed to an extreme degree. Their range of motion suggests they could lift prey towards their mouths, making them even deadlier than previously imagined. Teeth that copied famous theropods, while their claws were there. Primary weapons, Megaraptorans, also had an unusual set of teeth. Unlike most predators, whose teeth resemble those of their close relatives, Megaraptorans displayed a strange variety. Some, like Megaraptor itself, had front teeth resembling those of Tyrannosauroids chisel-like and D-shaped in cross-section. Others, like the Murus raptor, had fang-like teeth. Meanwhile, some genera had teeth similar to dromaeosaurs and compsognathids, with smooth front edges and serrated backs for slicing through flesh. The strangest of all, Fuquiraptor, 
had blade-like teeth resembling those of the marine reptile. Chronosaurus.studies suggest that Megaraptorans couldn't bite with extreme force, but their deadly claws more than compensated for this. Compared to the Indoraptor, which had small gripping teeth, Megaraptorans had a more diverse and deadly dentition, giving them an edge in predation. The closest member in size to Indoraptor, the closest real-life Megaraptoran to the Indoraptor in size was Aeoniraptor, an Argentinian genus that weighed approximately 1.1 tons and measured 7.5 meters, 25 feet in length, almost identical to Dr. Wu's fictional creation. However, Aeoniraptor was considered only a medium-sized member of its family. Some Megaraptorans grew even larger, the biggest Australian theropod. Ever several Megaraptorans exceeded the size of the Indoraptor, with Orcaraptor, Megaraptor, and Tratyania, all surpassing 8 meters, 26 feet, in length. In some regions, these predators were the apex hunters of their ecosystems. In Australia, the largest known theropod was a Megaraptoran, a fitting giant for a country notorious for its deadly wildlife. The largest to ever live. The biggest Megaraptoran of all, however, was Mape discovered in late Cretaceous Argentina. Measuring up to 10 meters, 33 feet, Mape rivaled the largest allosaur specimens in size. This massive predator likely hunted a range of prey, including armored ankylosaurs, hadrosaurs, and possibly even titanosaurian sauropods. While no complete claw fossils of Mape have been found, researchers estimate that they measured around 37.5 centimeters, 15 inches long, bigger than even Freddy Krueger's infamous blades. Mape's name, despite sounding unassuming in English, is derived from a mythological creature in Aeonicank legend known as the Shadow of Death, which kills with cold wind, an appropriately ominous name for such a terrifying predator. Percent lighter than they should have been Megaraptorans, were faster and more agile than expected for their size due to their highly pneumatized bones which were filled with air pockets. This extreme hollowing made them significantly lighter than similar-sized theropods. For instance, Megaraptor weighed around one ton, whereas an Allosaurus of the same length would have been 50% heavier. Some species, like Australovenator, may have weighed as little as 310 kilo, 680 lbs, despite being over 6 meters, 20 feet long leading some paleontologists to suggest that they were the cheaters of their time. This lightweight construction made them incredibly fast and nimble, capable of chasing down prey smaller than themselves and executing stealthy ambushes. Combined with their enormous claws and powerful arms, this made them some of the most efficient killers of the Mesozoic era. Conclusion Megaraptorans were nature's real-life equivalent of the Indoraptor, if not even deadlier. With the longest claws of any predator, powerful arms, unique teeth, and an agile, lightweight build, these dinosaurs were some of the most terrifying theropods to ever walk the earth. Had they survived to modern times, they would have been the ultimate nightmare fuel.